Okay, well, welcome everyone. And uh, again, this is John Dupuy. I'm the CEO of, of iWake Technologies. And this is my lovely wife, Pam. And she's like, the, I don't know what your title is, but the do everything of iWake Technologies. Uh, without her, none of this would be possible. And I have with us today, we have with us today, Dr. Charles Flores, who I've known probably for about 15 years now, Charles. It's, it's been a while. And yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm an extraordinary fan. I just admire you. Uh, you're you're a psychotherapist, a psychologist. I don't know how many PhDs you got or degrees you have, but you got a bunch. And uh, you're really smart, and uh, you got a great heart. So that's just a wonderful mix. And you have spent a lot of your professional career working with uh, people that are struggling with addiction, uh, traumatized women. Uh, just, you know, just some of the hardest and the most necessary healing work there is to do in, a, in our country. And I, uh, you know, I think you're a tougher man than me. I just admire your, your courage and your strength and your insight and your intelligence and your heart. You're, you got it all, brother. I'm a customer service representative. So I, I can deal with up to a hundred people a day that are maybe crying, maybe stressed, maybe they're having a bad time, whatever the story is. And if I'm super open, and hypersensitive yeah. and they can rock me yeah. you know yeah. so uh, uh, that takes a lot of practice to just hold them as well yes yeah, it, it does it really does physical I, I have a back problem whatever but it's something I live with is chronic pain and it really helps for mm -hmm. whatever reason it look, like I can tell there's like an emotional component to it and it lives in my back and so I really rely on my meditations to manage my pain and with that goes you know kind of uh, any just normal stuff that you have like oh I'm not sleeping great lately or struggling with this problem or I my mood's not great um my meditation practice with I um, really helps with just good health in general and and it's really effective which is and it's fun so I keep coming back I it's something I want to practice it's like one of the highlights of my day generally it sets my day off uh, perfectly I'm uh, primarily a lawyer I've uh, spent most of my career focusing on consumer class actions advocating for uh, consumer rights and consumer protection and working long hours with mm. where the there's no two days that are alike. It's uh, what most people would describe as a very high stress environment. What uh, military people say, uh, VUCA, where it's just unpredictable, crazy. Mm. You never, you never know when the other side's going to uh, file a motion and what's going to happen next you you can try to predict you can try to guess and time things and you're, you're juggling multiple demands at the same time and it's a, a job where i have to be at my best because there's high stakes each and every day and i'm getting paid to think and use my mind and be creative innovative and calm under stress mm. So, I Awake is a true godsend. I work in rehab um, as an occupational therapy assistant. Mm. I work uh, with the geriatric population. Uh, and, um, yeah, and um, that's, that's, that's a big job. <laughs> rehab, yeah. uh, broken hips, strokes, um, and um, mm. back, back, uh, back injuries and all that. Mm. Um, and so... Um, yeah, I've been doing that for a long, long time. Personally, I've just had a lifelong obsession with uh, peak performance. It started when I was a teen, just looking to gain an edge in sports and school. In the 80s, I uh, stumbled upon a uh, book called Mega Brain by Michael Hutchinson. Great. And yeah, classic. Started me out too. Yeah. That's kind of where the whole brain entrainment industry got its start. He, he was this amazing journalist who was covering these basement hackers before biohacking and quantum hacking 
was a, a thing on anyone's radar. And I had the good fortune of actually finding Michael Hutchinson and attending a workshop with him and getting to one of the early major players in the field, Tools for Exploration, which evolved into Tools for Wellness, and just exploring every brain sink tool I could get my hands on. I started off with some of the early leaders like Zygon, ABR, Tom Kenyon, Jeffrey Thompson, uh, Center Points, uh, Awakening Program, and all sorts of meditation programs, all the while also exploring just about every form of meditation under the sun from popular things like the uh, Vipassana and yogic styles and Buddhist styles and relaxation response, TM and Zen and just every form of meditation under the sun. And gradually from some internet chat room or, or group or something like this, either from meditation or perhaps biohacking, following the people that were underground. And this was before there were big names like Dave Asprey and Tim Ferriss and Book Stealing Fire, where everyone in Silicon Valley was doing it. Somehow, I connected with Eric Thompson who at the time was creating most of iAwake's products. And when I heard iAwake, it was, it was like finding the holy grail. That was the moment where it's like, yes, this is it. I have started with iAwake actually pretty recently. Um, it was um, back in March when the pandemic started. Mm -hmm. uh, I have been using uh, another uh, meditation technique um, and for years and um, I must say I I certainly didn't waste the time but I, I feel like I wasted it because it was just not going anywhere after many many years and so I finally um, it just came up um, in my meditation uh, to um, do I awake and so I did I follow and um, and so I I signed up and I got programs and I started and it's been amazing um, in that short time from March to now I've, I've achieved more than many years of the other meditation I really 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 love the tracks um, and uh, the states that um, <clears throat> it helps me get into the peace um, centering and grounded it has really helped me tremendously during this time to uh, to hang in there, to be able to go to work and give my best and be there for everybody else um, and for myself. And then I awake uh, came into being, and uh, and I, I think the first track I ever tried was Profound Meditation, which is now 1.0. So there were different versions of it, mm -hmm. and, and I I tried that. And, uh, and I, you know, I started using it. And one thing about 1.0, to me, it sounded like a truck moving through like a highway. It was a bit <laughs> little, <laughs> and I'm kind of like, well, it must be drilling in my head. It's like I was used to the bells and the nice soft stuff. And it was, you know, that's when feedback started coming and then it started improving, right? So you have the 2.0 and then eventually moving up to the 3.0, which is the current version, I believe, yeah. still. And uh, then it just got a lot more smooth and really sort of got more advanced. More. And what, what was the difference? The difference was that you didn't necessarily need a support person to go, you know, like deal with your meditation, all the unconscious material that was going to be jumping up at you. Um, this had a way of you, you could do it and be steady and it already tightened. There are ways to titrate how much uh, entrainment that you were taking in by having different tracks that had no entrainment or deeper entrainment. So you have more control over what uh, effect it's having on you. I was on the search for, at the time I was, I had, I mean, maybe not spent a ton of money, but I probably spent a good two or 300 bucks on meditations. Like, oh, this seems interesting, I'll try this. And so, you know, you kind of, I, I, there were a lot that really weren't 
um, effective really or worth it weren't yeah. that great for me. I don't mean oh. to sound negative, yeah. but once I found iAwake, I was like, oh, heck yeah, yeah, that's what I want to be doing for that. I'll stick to this, absolutely. For myself, I've actually, profound meditation is still my go-to. Like profound meditation, the, the flagship is definitely the one that I, I it's like if, if that, if there's anything I put on, it's usually that. For me, what works for me is I love when I just hear nature, rain, water. I love that stuff. The ones that really come to mind, aside from profound meditation, obviously, is um, my, one of my go-to for years now. It's an older one, um, Heartwave. I still yeah. love Heartwave. I do work with a lot of open heart meditation, and that's been really uh, supported for a long time. And uh, I, I was I had st very enthusiastic with stealing flow as far as getting stuff done. Yeah. <laughs> it, it really energizes you. It's like, you need that? And there are a lot of different tracks to help you energize. But for me, that really sort of like cinches it for me. I just feel like, and I'm just like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a cup of caffeine or something, but better, you know. Um, and uh, so, uh, and, and then um, also just about anything by um, uh, um, Mr. Cat, Mr. Ko, what's his name? Um, Joseph um, Ko. Yeah. Joseph Ko. Yeah. Anything with Joseph Ko. Um, I love his voice. I love the way he he uses meditative and trance work within the tracks themselves yes. mm -hmm. and i think the, the one he did on the soul is brilliant goes very well with my uh interval yoga practice awesome. uh, i recommend it so there's some really brilliant so I, of course i'm leaving out more than you know but i said those are ones that really stand out for me as being like wow okay that actually these make a difference in my life you know i i, I, I love how we a uh, great belief in the change that it brings around in human consciousness, brain evolution, and the quality of your life, really, you know, and that's, that's, you haven't paid me to say that, that's the absolute truth of it, you know, so, <laughs> and it is. So I was so inspired that I wanted to support IWIC um, from here in Northern Ireland, and I thought, how can I do it? And I signed up for the beta testing, and, and, and we got from there, and I tested quite a few tracks, and the one that blew the roof off uh, was Judith Pennington's In, Out and Through. And usually, you know, I can, most times when people sit down to use their track, whatever track you guys are using out there, um, it'll have its own unique experience with you. You know, you, you'll press play, you'll have a nice happy experience, you release some energy, you release some trauma, and you improve. It's just that simple. What happened to me <laughs> was totally unexpected, very much unexpected. Like you guys, I chose to sit down and press play, put my headphones on and enjoy the track. On this occasion, I did not expect what happened. I just thought it would be another better test, another track, another joyful experience. And what happened was that the, the track in, out and through, it does what it says on the tin quite literally. Uh, the expansion of the self is, is quite literal. So when I pressed play and I eventually put the headphones on and I sat down and I went through the process and I followed Judith's instructions and oh my goodness, did I expand. I didn't stop expanding. It was limitless. And what I, what I realized after like the third day, the track usually settles down and I adjust to it and I'll put the headphones on again and we'll go again. But it didn't settle down. It increased. And the intensity increased. And I began having all these insights and all of these um, truths, you might say. And the first thing that I realized was that when, at the, the most expansive point was that I realized that, oh my goodness, we are the universe. We are the stars, we are the planets, we're the space between. And the thing is, it's, it's not out there, it's under your skin, it's, it's right here. 
you know we are the universe that's that we are the expansiveness of, of life itself well, i was wondering do you have any favorite ones that are like the ones you just go back to for whatever well, i like the the purring the cat purr mm -hmm. and it, it, oddly my cat i always have a cat on my lap when i'm doing my meditation huh. and uh, it Definitely that one draws them in for sure, my Jake and Elwood. I do like the guided meditations. I like being led. So I like the in the newest in, out, and through, and the uh, journey to the journey to yeah, the, yeah. Of the soul. That's yeah. fantastic. That's the soul. Thank you, Tim. Yeah. But yeah, I especially do like um, the heart wave meditation. Mm -hmm. It's been a really fabulous track. I, I really lately, I've been doing that mainly. Um, to get me out of the funk um, that I've I've been in, like yeah, so many other people. Listened to, when it was on your uh, weekly meditation, I listened to, I think it was Dr. Bob, about forgiveness. Yes. Oh my God, that was powerful. And I have, and one just has no idea what's in inside. You listen to this meditation because it feels right. And then you sit in there and all of a sudden this stuff comes up because you're willing to look and like, where is this coming from? I was happy and okay and here I'm crying. But of course, after I'm finished, it's like, it's, it's all good and it's good. But that forgiveness was very powerful. Ever since Stealing uh, Flow was released, I religiously used the neural warm-up virtually every morning with with rare exceptions where I'll switch to another IOA program which is primarily these days Judith Pennington's new releases if I if I have just a few minutes maybe I'll plug in the the 10 minute tape from Gamma 40 which is one of my frequent go-to tapes or I'll do the mini meditations album if I was up all night I I may look to use the stealing flow nap program or on the opposite end i'm more likely to choose a gamma program like gamma 40 or the stealing flow gamma or mm. gamma burst uh Inf infinity is one of my favorite programs it's very this cool i awake is one of the just greatest life enhancements. It's it's so integrated with my life all day long. I've had a lot of stressful events this uh, past year. I had uh, a major injury that I'm recovering from. I, uh, I lost my uh, father this past year. And I Awake has enabled me to deal with it all calmly and more, more than just a sense of calm and resilience my general default state it's like when you turn on a tv or, or a stereo and you set the volume my internal setting is set to a calm happy peaceful mm. default setting yeah, I, I still have moments when uh, there's people who know how to push my buttons and uh, they, they may push my buttons, life happens, but I, I've learned e even when that happens, I can get back to my center faster. I, it takes more to trigger me. I do my best to stay that calm eye in the center of the storm mm -hmm. or uh, there's a quote that I love from the Dalai Lama that I'm probably going to butcher but it's something to the effect of being so centered in your own internal peace that outside events and outside people don't take you off that peace and more and more I find that with the help of IOA I'm able to to get to that goal, that uh, way of being, and stay in that place where the chaos can be happening, 
the economy is shutting down. Okay, I'll I'll figure out a solution. I'll do it calmly. I'll do it happily, mm-hmm. and it's a it's a great way to go through life. I I couldn't imagine not having how how things would be if I I didn't have these tools. I really love it. Yeah, it's, thank you very much. It is so so wonderful technology. This journey, this path that we're all on, is about you know it's embodying your divinity in your human form, and it's your humanity. You know, it's your emotional intelligence, your psychological intelligence, your all of that. It's it's be the real human being that that you are, and the iowic technology supports that, creates that, holds that, transforms that. And you might get bumpy patches using the technology, but that's just showing you where you're tied up yeah. and where you need to loosen, you know? So be human, be as human as you possibly can. Love, kindness, compassion, wisdom. A lady once said to me a few years ago, I used to work with a blind lady who um, used to bring her guide dog into work. And um, she said to me one day, she said, Scott, if we can't all help each other, what's the point? That, si- that silenced me. If we cannot help each other, what's the point? Wow. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up. Come on. You know, develop your humanity. Help your brothers. Help your sisters. Help all creatures. Help the planet, you know. Go and look at your news to get a taste of where we are and yeah. use that as a reflection to where we need to go. Amen. Hey, uh, S- Scott, it's been incredible. And uh, thank you for your just deep honesty and, you know, your transmission. You're, you're obviously right in it. And uh, totally, yeah. let, let's be closer. You know, I'd love to hear your progress in your future and sure. you know, what's going on and how, how you're working on this. But you're... Uh, you're a light in a lot of darkness and uh, you're where we need to head. You know, we all need to wake up and that's why we do I awake and we, why we do like, like your blind friend said, if we can't help one another, what's the point? Well, that is the point. That is the point. Help each other. Support each other. Compassion, kindness, Mm -hmm. respect, love. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. And understanding our, our deep unity in our, uh, in our deep individuality at the same time and, and to be able to hold that. It's, uh, yeah, beautiful. here, here, totally couldn't agree more. Thank you, brother. Bless you guys. Thank, thank, you, thank you so, so much. much. A delight. Mm, thank you so much, Scott. Blessings, Pam. Thank you. <laughs>